Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Cicillowati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience in reporting, planning and analysis. I must confess that I'm a late adopter of an Excel feature called Format as Table. This is our data sets, uh, a little bit plain, not yet formatted as table. And there are a couple of options to do that. Option number one is by using a shortcut of Ctrl T. And then click OK. And now that is formatted as a table. So it's now called table 16. You can rename that table if you want to into something else. Just type it in there, but I'll just leave it as table 16 for now. Yep. Option number two uh, of turning something into a table is by clicking format as table icon. When you click that, there is more options presented. You can choose any color that you want. Whereas when you press Ctrl T, you get the default color. Uh, lots of options, but there is no options of keeping things plain. Um, that's one of the reasons why I didn't like it in the past. Let's just pick one color. Okay, and just leave it at that for now. I used to hate this feature for two reasons. Firstly, it adds spatial formatting to my data table. And sometimes I simply want my table to be plain. And secondly, it makes my Excel user formula look a little bit different. Excel is supplying the formula in the text format rather than the old school format that I'm used to and I sometimes didn't feel comfortable with that. Let's say we want to add two column percentage increase and a dollar increase, which is the percentage multiplied by the salary. Notice how Excel is applying the formula in the DAX format instead of the traditional E2 times D2. Yeah. So I'm not comfortable with this text formula. Um, what I didn't realize is if you don't like it, you can still do it the traditional way. You can force it by doing D2 times E2 and the table still works. There are definitely some benefits of turning your data into table format rather than the ordinary range. I will explain each benefit thoroughly in this video. Firstly, the first benefit is the creation of dynamic range that can auto resize with the introduction of new columns or new rows. This feature is so useful when your data is used as data source for pivot table or charts. There will be no need to manually update the data source with additional rows or columns. Everything will just be automatically updated. Let me show you. So our pivot table and our charts are linked to our data set, which is formatted as a table. And the wonderful thing about that is when there is new rows, hey, let me just copy a couple of rows. Notice how the chart just update itself and the pivot table can automatically pick up the new 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 records that we have added now if i extend that and maybe fill it in with 20 percent see how the chart auto updates you no longer have to change the data source yeah you just need to you just need to set the data source so if you look at the data source setting the data store simply says table one. It's smart enough to recognize new rows and new columns. I'll show you the new columns. Let's say, um, approval status. And let's say approve. And then let's put rejected. And when we refresh the pivot table, we have approval status in there which you can put as a filter. It's working. And all of that, you can do without updating the source data. The second benefit uh, of applying format as table is that formula columns will be automatically updated as new rows are added. 
How often do you have a formula on the right and then you just forgot to drag them down after adding new rows? With table format, you don't have to worry about this anymore. All formulas are automatically added when rows are inserted. Let me show you. Now, let's look at a calculated field. Let's say dollar increase, which is percentage increase multiplied by base salary. Now, watch what happens when we add new rows. Yeah. I'm just going to copy maybe a couple of new employees, put it in there. Now, notice how the dollar increase is automatically calculated without us having to type the formula down. So it's just great for efficiency. And I don't know about you, but I often forget to click and drag, especially when, you know, the rows are super long. Let's pretend this is a proof here. Yeah. The third benefits are the ability to add additional optional features linked to your tables, such as summary at the bottom, slices on the side, and auto filter at the top. Let me show you. Watch this column label. When I scroll down, they morph into the column headings name. Isn't that amazing? You no longer have to do free spin, it's doing it automatically for you. Here is another one. Go to table design and table style options. Yeah. There are a lot of optional stuff that you can do. For example, filter you can turn on and off. So if you don't like seeing that filter there, off. Um, the banded rows, so you can turn it on and off. And banded columns, the same thing. And turn it on and off so if you prefer for example you can um, and what I like is this feature about total rows so when you hit total rows uh, the last row appear and in here you can set various options for example at the moment uh, the options see how there is a drop down box in you can select various options. You can do sum, for example, at the moment it's doing a sum, or you can do maximum if you want to. You can choose minimum. And here, for example, in every single one, actually, you can choose none. At the moment, this is none, or you can do a count, for example. Set it back to none. And then, same with the increase, you can do um, minimum, or you can do sum. Uh, and if you don't want to see them, you can make it disappear. You go back to table design, untick the total rise. Another benefit of format as a table is you can create slices like this on the side, where you can filter it. Notice I have turned off the auto filtering option on top and replace it with slicers. Here the slicer. You can create a new one easily if you want to slice it differently. So all you need to do is go insert slicer and say you want to slice by increase percentage click ok and got another slice so now you can you can do the filtering on the side lastly it is also super easy to change the color of the table format you can simply go to the table design in the ribbon tab and select different color you can also make it plain looking and let it behave still like a table by going to table design and selecting style equal to none and it is also super easy to switch back to normal range if you want to let me show you if you want to change color go to table design change the table styles pick whatever you want you can also scroll up and down. There's many options there, including no color, the plain options. Now, although it's plain looking, this is still a table. How do I know that? Because when I'm in, when I click these cells, see how it still says table name, table, and that's how we know um, this is still a table. And whilst we're in here, there is also an option to resize table if you want to. Uh, say for example, you don't want that column, column G, to be part of the table. You can you can resize it. 
you can say you know let's just include column F up to there you know, for example then you know see see that thing that there is that tiny little kind of like corner you can drag that and you are expanding it you can drag that to the left and you're kind of like eliminating that additional column or rows from your table range yeah you just flick it back to original so it's quite easy to modify the tables now what, what if what if you don't want this to be a table anymore what do you do um, you can convert it to normal range and really all you need to do is click that go to tools convert range Excel will prompt you with that. Do you want to convert table to a normal range? And you say yes. And then look, when you're here, um, how do I know this is not a table? Because there is no table tab on the ribbon and it just says you know, the, um, the, the cell reference. Yeah. If I want to convert it back into a table, then press Ctrl T. And voila, when you click it in here, it says table name table 18 so this is back into a table so those are the reasons why i'm slowly slowly falling in love with excel table format and i'm beginning to embrace more of it in my day-to-day -day life if you are like me someone who used to hate or dislike table format i hope you will give it a second chance try it one more time and i sincerely hope that you won't be disappointed if you enjoy this video please hit the like button and subscribe button as well so that you don't miss out on future tips that i'll be sharing on youtube every Thursday on how we can leverage excel and power bi to work smarter see you next time